A large majority of my fellowship training in hand and upper extremity was spent studying and learning about elbow trauma. Typically, I'll see elbow traumas that involve elbow dislocations, elbow dislocations with associated fractures, distal humerus fractures, olecranon fractures, and radial head fractures. The treatment options for the conditions that I've listed varies on an individual basis, but there's one unifying theme. Uh, regardless if surgery is needed or not, we want to obtain a stable elbow. If the elbow is stable uh, without surgery, then we'll feel comfortable going ahead and working closely with our therapists to begin a rehabilitation program. If we see any sign of instability or there's a fracture involving the joint surface, then oftentimes we'll need to go in with surgery to repair the ligaments or restore the articular surface. Once we've decided that the elbow is stable, whether that was initially or after surgery, uh, patients will typically stay in a splint, but then they'll meet with our occupational therapist typically two to three times a week to come out of the splint and work on specific elbow range of motion exercises. These exercises are then performed at home, um, and so we really want to encourage elbow range of motion to prevent stiffness. On some circumstances, despite our best efforts, patients will sometimes still develop a stiff elbow. And that can be very frustrating for the patient, the therapist, the treating physicians, uh, but it's often not the fault of any of, of the above. Sometimes the body forms excess scar tissue, excess bone, or may have inflammation around one of the nerves, and that prevents uh, movement of the elbow. Patients will typically come see me for a stiff elbow when they have troubles performing their activities of daily living. The literature will suggest that an individual needs approximately 100 degrees of elbow range of motion from 30 degrees to 130 degrees. But what we found is that with our, our life and talking on the phone, buttoning our collar, uh, that even that much range of motion can be difficult for some patients. Patients will often be working with a physical therapist and despite going two, three times a week, they won't see any improvement in their elbow range of motion. Uh, if they're four or five months out from surgery and they've built up scar tissue, at that point it's unlikely that their range of motion is going to improve with therapy alone. It's at that point that I'll have a discussion about a operation on their elbow to release any excess bone formation, any excess scar tissue formation to help improve their range of motion.